and welcome to another edition of TiffinCast. Today we have our guest, Colin Brees from Shootproof.com. Welcome, Colin. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. Thanks for having me on. Uh, Colin, thanks again for uh, coming on board as a sponsor for our future interview with Gary Vaynerchuk. I wanted to mention that off straight up uh, because uh, when, when we first talked, you were... Um, you didn't spend more than like five minutes considering my appeal to you, and I, I thank you for that. Um, I was excited to meet with you uh, here in Avon, Connecticut, and um, the business model behind Shootproof is very intriguing, and I wanted to sort of start off by asking you about that. What is the business model behind Shootproof.com? Yeah, so Shootproof, uh, the business model is much different than sort of the incumbents that, are, that have been in the sort of the photo proofing, online sales, you know, sharing space. What's different and, and sort of what our business model is, is photographers do have to pay for photo space. So just that, that's kind of a paradigm shift from what many services have provided. They say put on unlimited photos and then, you know, most other services, and we'll get to Shootproof quickly, is pay for features. So pay us a certain amount monthly or annually. For, for these sets of features, depending on what you want. Then on top of that, you know, pay us 10 to 20% of your sales. So you know, we looked at that and we said, we don't want to build our business model around a photographer's sales. So what we do is allow photographers to share and sell as much as they want. So if they make a $100 sale, Shootproof does not take you know, a percentage of that. Uh, whereas where we charge a photographer is for the amount of photo space they're using in the system. So um, if they wanted to have up to 1,500 photos online at a given time, there's, there's one price. If they want more than that, they can upgrade. It's more like Dropbox. So effectively, it's like having Dropbox with a big photography tool built around it. And you're simply paying for the storage in and out of the system as you need it. Okay. Uh, yeah. So it's it's a very visual version of Dropbox, right? I mean, yes. And clearly, uh, from poking around on the site, uh, it's got e-commerce built into it. You're able to not only sell images, but also... Uh, have labs such as Pro DPI and Black River Imaging and uh, uh, Bay Photo right. all, all finish your order for you. And so you really don't have to touch the image, I guess, once you've uploaded it to your to your account on shootproof.com. Is that true? Is that right? Yeah, exactly. Yes. You can do the e-commerce side. So you set your own prices. When you make a sale, uh, we can transfer the, the profits to your bank account or you know, checking your savings, whatever you let connect to Shootproof. And then mm -hmm. the lab can be paid through a portion of those funds that we collect during the sale for you. Oh, is that uh, right? Okay. Yeah. So ba based on you know the photographer approving an order, you know oh. they get an order, they can either have automatic fulfillment, as you kind of mentioned, where they, it's all hands off and it goes straight to the lab. Uh -huh. But we see many photographers want to you know, review the crops quickly. They may want to replace an image that they retouch. So they have sort of a staging sort of period. They can just quickly review it, uh, approve that, and at that point we we take the lab portion out of the sale. Um, it would be sent to the Pro DPI, as you mentioned, or, or Black River Imaging or Bay Photo. Um, and one last thing, you know, in with that, it is all white labeled. So their end client, you know, wouldn't see any of the uh, the cost information, of course, of the prints, and also the, the lab's branding is not there. So. Oh, that's terrific. Yeah. Um, now. You're based in Atlanta, correct? Yes. And uh, you've started this business how long ago? How was it? Two, three years ago that you've started? Yeah, we, we October 2010. We had we had our first uh, you know customers we could we could find. Okay. We'll just say. So October 2010 was launch. Uh, 2009, okay. we started building the site and Excellent. really formed like an idea to, to go after this. So it's a it's sort of like an anniversary special today, isn't it? it, it I, I think so. Three <laughs> years. <laughs> That's great. Three years. Tell me why you began this business because you're not a photographer, right? You're, right. you're, you're you and your uh, partner are not photographers. But how did the, tell me a little bit about the story behind how you started the business? Yeah, sure. So, so Robert Swarthout, my co-founder, uh, he and I were went to college together in uh, Berry College, in North Georgia, and uh, you know we knew we wanted to start something together. So you know we both been out of school a while. We both had our own startup, you know, sort of businesses we were in. Uh, over time, and, and we decided that you know, his, his wife really got into photography. She's a successful wedding photographer, uh, started a business called 510 Girls, some amazing stuff she's doing. And we really, uh, her search for you know, the right you know, online proofing and sales, sort of e-commerce, as you mentioned, solution, is really what got us. Um, and my sister's also a photographer. Um, you know, all her life. So we, we it, it said, you know, why don't we, it, it's, a, it's an enjoyable space, honestly. Photos, who doesn't enjoy, why, why is everyone taking so many iPhone photos? I mean, everybody enjoys photos. And for us to be able to build a business around something that, you know, we enjoy even though we're not photographers, um, it's pretty awesome. So we got into it in searching for a solution for Robert's wife, um, Tessa, effectively. So 
Oh, that's interesting. Okay. Yeah. So we looked at it. We said, you know, how, you know, why? The example we kind of used in our head was if someone's selling an eight by ten, right? If, if say, if you sell an eight by ten for sixty dollars, hypothetical number, and I sell one for fifteen dollars, uh, you know, why should you have to pay your online proofing company, you know, three times the amount for that eight by ten that I pay? What, what is it costing the service more? It's really not. So, but but with the ten to twenty percent commission, you're certainly paying multiples of what I am to be able to sell that. Uh, so we just didn't understand that, and we felt like it could be different. And and it's not just about pricing. There's a lot of uh, it's hard for companies to get the user experience right. Uh, you know, keeping a simple a solution simple that's very uh, mm -hmm. robust. Let's just mm -hmm. say and we mm -hmm. think we're hitting that, and we're listening to customers every day to make that better. So, excellent, excellent. So you you've you've uh, just recently launched a new website. Can yeah. you tell tell us a little bit about that experience for you. Uh, it took a lot longer than we planned. So, uh, okay, it always does. So, yeah, the experience we you know we we all, not only did we launched the new site, we you know we changed our, our whole branding, so the logos have changed. Uh, a, a long ways in the making. We had a gentleman in Atlanta was a good you know a friend of ours that uh, you know we sort of met through networking you know over time and was was working with us as the UX side, the design side. And, you know, it became such a large project even outside of our team. We we couldn't make it all happen, and we had to hire him. So mm. it's one of the. It's actually now, you know, you know, eight months later, it's one of the best decisions we ever made uh, was to have him, you know, be a part of the team. But um, yeah, we we a couple new things. So as we launched the new site, we also launched our new mobile apps. So you know, you know, photographers can create uh, custom mobile apps for their clients. Um, it's just a feature. There's no need to to you know buy that as additional service. Every single one of our existing members is getting access to that. Um, it's in beta right now, and anybody new is getting access, and those that ask us are getting a chance to use it. So that's been pretty awesome. So they can, even though we are, I said it's sort of like Dropbox, a photo storage business, uh, you know, kind of built around that with photography tools. Mm -hmm. uh, there are unlimited mobile apps. That's an area where we're not limiting the amount. Those photos do not count against their space. It's just a, a free added feature that they can use for their clients that is separate from paying for storage like an event where you're going to share and sell and print, but perhaps. This is just a separate feature of the site. Where they can create these custom mobile apps. That's a big release that we had, also as part of this. And what we've seen photographers, you know, saying is they love having the event on cheaper for they can share and sell, but then also be able to out of those favorites the client picks or ones they select, then create a custom mobile app to share on their iPhone or Android, mm -hmm. um, a browser-based sort of album mm -hmm. that works offline as well. So we uh, have seen that in the market. We've talked to different folks that provide that, and we felt like it's something that we needed to provide our photographers, and they're they're pretty excited about it. Now, I think I may have asked you this uh, offline, but is is it possible for for a client to use the mobile app and click on a picture and then go directly to your store and be able to buy that same picture in different sizes and dimensions and things like that? Is that, yes. is that something you're working on? No, it's it's out now, yeah. So the photographer, if they have an existing event on ShootProof, right, at the time when they make the app, mm -hmm. uh, they can say, okay, this app, I want it connected to this existing event. Uh, and then, the, then the, the client, as they're going through the mobile app and quickly accessing those pictures, they can always go to view the full gallery, which would mean go to the web effectively and be able to view and purchase. So with, with ShootProof, the photographers can sell you know, mobile phones, tablets, or, or online. We just render a version specific for what that client's using. So mm -hmm. yes, they can go from the app to, to uh, purchasing. Yeah. That's pretty uh, brilliant, I would say. Because yeah. uh, yeah. uh, I know for sure e-commerce on mobile devices is just going through the roof. And right. uh, more and more people are using mobile devices to to look at websites and and do their purchasing right. on their web, on their devices right. and i think it would make a, a whole lot of sense i guess to make it possible for my clients for instance say oh wow i love that image i know it's nice that say uh shared this image of the whole family here right. but i really really want it you know right. well now i guess you just have to press that button and, and go right. directly to, exactly to go into well, they, into, the, into the sale right away yeah, and the mobile apps are certainly good for the you know, them experiencing the photos, being able to share your brand when they share the app. But going beyond that, you're not really allowing them to save the photos out of the app. Typically, right? It's sort of contained right. in the app. So when they want to make the purchase, as you said, or, or get the digital delivery if they bought that as part of their session with you, or they need to make make a make a payment for that online, they can go do that from you know, from the app. Yeah. Um, so. Off off those uh, folks who are your customers right now. Uh, I don't want any raw numbers, but I, I'm just curious in terms of percentage. How many are portrait clients, uh, portrait photographers, and how many are portrait uh, or wedding photographers? 
Yeah, I would say well, we have uh, you know, we have over twenty thousand customers now uh, that that have Shoeproof accounts. Okay, you know we we all we have a freemium business, so as you've probably seen, anyone can use our service for up to hundred photos for free all the time, including making the, the custom apps we talked about and having you know selling online. So there's no limit to the features they can use. So I would just first say that we have different types of customers. Certainly, we have many that. Uh, come in and out of paying us money as they need the service because many photographers they're solepreneurs as you know and 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 some are busier than others uh, mm -hmm. but, but most of them are one person teams and and uh, so we have different needs within that um, I would say I don't have percentages to give you but I would say that our the biggest base of customers for us is more wedding and portrait than say sports or school uh, those sort of things we do have a lot of wedding portrait newborn those type of that type of uh, a photographer. Mm -hmm. uh, We've attracted, it seems, a lot of different uh, types, but mainly event photographers is our market, not stock photography, uh, right. not landscape photography. That's certainly our market, and wedding and portraits a big part of it. Okay. Um, one interesting thing that's happening right now is that a lot of the apps are making it possible for email capture and being able to you know, move that email from a client to, into a, a database, which, of course, the photographer would like to use to do email marketing. Uh, mm -hmm. Is that possible to do with Shootproof? Yes, yes. So any any emails that, so the couple ways that happens. Uh, a photography can require an email when, when the client enters the gallery, right? That could be a requirement. If they don't get it then, uh, we're going to require it when the, when the client tries to favor it or add something to the cart the first time. That way we can remember their session if they don't, you know, come back. And, and, and so the photographer also can see on the admin side of Shootproof what what's been favorited, uh, which photos does the client like, they can see that real time. Mm -hmm. um, but in terms of the email marketing, we also have a pre-registration feature. So a lot of wedding photographers, as an example, will set an event up in a pre-registration status, have, have the, share that with the bride and groom, maybe have an iPad at the, at the uh, reception where, where their guests are signing in to, to sort of key in their email. So they can stage the same URL that's going to become the event. Uh, they can then come back to that. So, so what with the email marketing, uh, they can create templates in our system, so they can have a templates they send for certain types of, of, of situations. They can have automation, so uh, in, you know, five days before the event expires, based on the expiration date, I set send this email and so forth. Um, and then also, you know, the pre-registration when they are ready to release an event, meaning uh, perhaps they have the engagement photos staged behind the the, the pre-registration box, so mm -hmm. it looks pretty when you come there. Mm -hmm. But then once the wedding photos are actually uploaded, they can say, All right, "I'm ready to release the event." These 25 visitors I now have, I want an email sent, I want it to be this template of mine to be used. So okay. we have a lot of email capabilities, but one other thing I'll say about it is also there's a lot of granularity to our email capabilities. So when you go to the gallery visitors, as we call it, for an event uh -huh. that you shot, uh, you can go and be specific and say, I'd like to email everyone who hasn't purchased or, who, or people with things still in their, I want an automation that says anyone that has things in their cart and but hasn't finished purchasing, I want an email sent to those people at this point in time within the events. So there's, there's a lot of granularity both manually or from an automated standpoint you can set it up. So it's pretty nice. Is there any uh, uh, sort of integration with uh, either MailChimp or AWeber or any of those yeah. other email marketing options no, at all? Uh, there's not there's not any integration. I mean, we, you can export very easily from any that gallery visitors page like a CSV. So yeah. you say I want all these and you right. you could take that. The integration would be that. I mean uh, the sense that you you manually export, export. And, and sort of upload as you would typically do. But um, yeah, not today. We and then one other thing I will say though, like like those tools, we we give a lot of within the admin panel for the photographer, there's an email tab and you can actually see every email we've ever sent, digital downloads to your customer, whatever it may be. Uh, order statuses, and you can see have they opened it? Did they receive it? You know, it's a lot of because a lot of times saying, well, they said they didn't get it. We well, can actually see if they've it, maybe it's in their spam box. There's a lot of ways to mm -hmm. actually review sort of what's happening, the activity that you're triggering for us to send. You know what's going on with that, and has it been seen by the client? That's so, fantastic. Yeah. Um, you know, I guess the, my next question is, where where do you go next? Can you talk about what your other future plans may be in terms of? What you go bringing photographers next? Yeah, sure. We're, well, a lot of what we're working on is we have, we have a number of areas we're working on. Uh, we international expansion is a big thing for us. Uh, when I say expansion, I just mean we, we're in 25 countries now, but we've been working on language support for the galleries is a big thing. So just this week we added you know Finnish, Norwegian, uh, Swedish, you know different you know more language support. We have clients there. They, they they may speak English, but not every single customer they have does to be able to use the client gallery. So we've been working on some international things as big. Uh, print fulfillment in the UK is one we're going to have coming up. Uh, print fulfillment in Australia. Um, so there's a couple of the areas. Uh, in terms of other things we're doing, there's a lot of interest in studio management. So we're 
talking with some existing uh, businesses uh, about that and looking at, you know, continue to try to be the hub for the photographer online to be able to do what they need with their, with the, all of their photos, but running their business uh, through the web. So um, I, there are a lot of other things we're working on, certainly making the digital download process easier. We've, we've been doing a lot to make it to where photographers are asking us, you think of a lot of this shoot and share, shoot and sell, this, this discussion that's going on. Uh, I'm not sure really why it's a discussion. It just depends on the, the, the customer you're working with at that time, what you might do. But for us, we're working hard to make sure things like that they can do now as of recent as maybe you've given the, the wedding customer as part of their session fee. Uh, the digitals. Well, does every other customer that visits the gallery get digitals? Well, maybe not. So how, what are easy ways like giving a promo code for them to do that and, and making it more flexible with digital downloads is something we've worked a lot on over the last year and, and it's been a success for photographers. Well, thank you so much, uh, Colin, for giving us a little uh, sort of brief look into what Shoe Proof is all about and how it can help photographers um, really elevate their business. I think that's what that's what solutions like yours really do. Um, they come in and not just, um, st you know, they, they stand for something, I think, uh, which is clearly, you know, uh, f it's, it stands for freedom, really. You know, you you know, want to give them a choice to choose yeah. the, the lab they want, their exactly. pricing, those things. Right. Right. And, and, and what I liked about your solution is um, how easy it is to connect a, a, a gallery to a lab. I think one of the things that um, I found uh, lacking in some of the other ones is that is that connection, you know. And right. it seems like either you pay a heavy premium to make that happen, or you get rather poor connections, you know. And right. and having to do it manually is not an option sometimes. And as you said, a lot of us are solopreneurs and and really yep. trying to make it by juggling. A variety of hats uh, and dropping that one ball where your clients are looking for, uh, you know, for your your prints, uh, their prints, and you know you have no idea where the heck it is in the workflow, uh, is simply not going to fly. So right. it's nice that you've got everything sort of laid out. Um, thank you for your time. Um, thank you. Th thank you again for your sponsorship uh, for the Gary Vaynerchuk interview that's coming up on November 15th. The date's been fixed um, and I will be in touch with you very soon. Awesome. Yeah, looking forward to the Gary V. I, I just watched his Inbound 2012 talk. I know it's a little, I know it's a year or so back, but it's pretty awesome, his uh, keynote there. So looking forward to hearing what he's up to lately. Thank you. Absolutely. Take care. All right, bye. bye.